Uh, Bill is taking the fence down for me. Uh, I'm going to make this a little bit bigger and use this fence on something else. This cane. And uh, open this up better. Cut all the wheels down and the more morning glories. Get them out of here and I'll work on this little bed. On uh, this bed here, I got a gate here and a gate over there. So at the different times, I could let different chickens in there to work the bed in the winter. But I like get all this cleaned up, chop that willow out, and I got sunchokes coming up. So I'll get rid of all these willows and probably trim up around this tree. I do want to keep that tree here and probably plant tomatoes down there and then it can just wind its way up that tree. I like doing that. So I'm going to get in there and help him. Bill's going to remove this post. Leave the tree so I can grow uh, tomatoes. Let me climb up that. And then over there I'll chop the rest of the willows oh, hey. out. Hey. We're going to try to bring it out this way. And roll it up. Or else we have to cut that in half, which I don't mind either. Okay, we're trying to get it out through there. But it's falling through this hog wire fence. While it's dropping out of it. I'm just going to have to take this apart. Uh, all the cane's falling out of it. And redo it with different wire. My 2 by 4 wire. Because it's just not going to make it anywhere. But it shouldn't be that hard to pull them out of there. Sonny, are you helping? Uh, hey, I don't need them broke. I need them pulled away from the fence like this. But uh, he's, he thinks they need a trim. Bill's getting ready to cut some of the uh, willows back. So I'm pulling them out. And I want to store these. And, uh, Bill's clearing uh, the branches around that one tree because I do want to grow tomato on it also. So he's cleaning up around that. This is where I'm bringing my cane. And uh, I'm going to block it, put some buckets over here so the chickens won't scatter it. But I'm going to eventually weave it through this fence to help block the wind. I have a big wind problem uh, from the south. It comes right up through here and uh, blow real hard right through here. So that's what I'll use that cane for. And here comes the horses. They come give them some willows. Bill took out there. They like to eat willows, but the donkeys love them more. Here's my little baby apricot, and this vine is already trying to climb up it, so I'm going to get that off there, and I've got me a, a stake, stake this up, and uh, I found one of these, and I'm going to tie it up. I think it's going to like uh, standing up better than laying down. And cut some more willows on this side of the fence. Uh, all I need is some outside willows and cut them back. So I got some cleanup to do and I'm glad to get it done. This little plant right here, I'm not sure what it is. It, it kind of looked like a celery, and I did have celery in this bed at one time. And I tasted it and didn't taste like celery, so I don't know what it is, but I'll leave it for a while and uh, 
see what it does. I don't know. I tried to tie that uh, tree up and the tape's too old and it broke. But this is something I got from a dump site. Me and Bill, we look around, pick things up. I don't know what it is, but I'll uh, unwrap it with this thing. Well, that worked out good. Just tied it up. Now it can stand straight up. I'm going to dig up these sun chokes, get them out here. And uh, I like to keep my sun chokes over there to that new garden and get them completely out of this area. Uh, I don't want them over here. So I'm going to put them in a pot and then when I can, take them over there and transplant them over there. I don't want to get rid of them because it is a source of food. Well, it really opened up the the bed here, made it a lot bigger, and uh, I'm still cleaning up the floor. And uh, I put one of Barbara's purple tomatoes over here, and just in case I leave a gate open, I got it caged so the chickens won't get it. And uh, still some work to do in here, but I do want to plant a tomato here. Let it grow up and one over there by that tree. So thanks for watching from Out West Homestead. And I got these potting. I'm not moving them yet. That's my sun chokes. Uh, I will later when I got extra time. Bye. One time I grew a cherry tomato by a tree and it come up and all them red tomatoes. There's red tomatoes all over that tree, and it was very cute. So I hope I can do it again. I just turned them out. They want them out too. It goes yellow belly. Well, oh, there she is. There they go. I gave that roast some water, so any bugs coming up? Under that mulch, they'll get it.